Starting in the 1930s, government officials institutionalized the national appraisal system, where race was as much a factor in real estate assessment as the condition of the property. Using this scheme, federal investigators evaluated 239 cities across the country for financial risk. So that those communities that were all white, suburban, and far away from minority areas, uh, they received the highest rating, and that was the color green. Those communities that were all minority or in the process of changing, they got the lowest rating and the color red. They were redlined. As a consequence, most of the mortgages went to suburbanizing America, and it suburbanized it racially. The racial logic adopts the principle that an integrated neighborhood is a bad risk, is a financial risk, that an integrated neighborhood is likely to be an unstable neighborhood, uh, unstable socially, but therefore also unstable economically. When the white residents of Eight Mile Road in Detroit were told they were too close to a black neighborhood to qualify for a positive FHA rating, they built this six-foot wall between themselves and their black neighbors. Once the wall went up, mortgages on the white properties were approved. Between 1934 and 1962, the federal government underwrote $120 billion in new housing. Less than 2% went to non-whites. I can understand an individual, depending on his environment or his family or whatever, uh, being racist, but for your country, to um, sanction it, give him tools to do that, there's something deadly wrong there. Basically the idea of, of whiteness is who's included, who's part of the family, and it has material consequences. Blacks weren't completely left out of the housing market. The housing market that they were exposed to was largely public housing. And pu public housing, first of all, was built almost exclusively with, with some uh, with a few exceptions, in the central city. And after World War II, we started building these larger and larger public housing projects, which were called vertical ghettos. All of a sudden, you're concentrating large numbers of poor people of color in one place. Another federal program, Urban Renewal, was supposed to make cities more livable. 90% of all housing destroyed by urban renewal was not replaced. Two thirds of those displaced were black or Latino. In 1968, President Johnson signed the Fair Housing Act. For the first time, racial language was removed from federal housing policy. Non-white families began moving into traditionally white communities in numbers. Like the Frisbees, many non-white families would discover the economic value of race in the real estate market. They watched as their homes and neighborhoods in suburbia declined precisely because they had moved into them. When I moved into a neighborhood, I thought it would stay intact the way it was. On the street that I moved on when I moved there, it was predominantly white. Within two years, it was predominantly black. It was called blockbusting. Real estate agents preyed on the racial fears of white homeowners to get them to sell their homes quickly for less than market value. The homes were resold to non-whites at inflated prices. Well, they would say, you know, we're having black people move in. Now, I will give you cash if you want to sell me your house. Do you want to stay with black people next door to you? 
And that's the way it went on. And uh, as Bunny said, a lot of the people just said, yes, I'll take the money and run. And uh, that's the start of the white people leaving. As more black and Latino families moved to Roosevelt, real estate became more and more depressed, just as the FHA had predicted. But why? It wasn't African Americans moving in that caused housing values to go down in Roosevelt and other neighborhoods. It was whites leaving. In the end, what happened to Roosevelt happens in many neighborhoods when white families and businesses flee. The tax base eroded. Schools and services declined. The town was seen by county officials as a legitimate dumping ground for welfare families.